new evidence of possible ties between Osama bin Laden and Pakistan's government. That evidence reportedly comes from a cell phone used by bin Laden's favorite courier that U.S. troops found after killing the al-Qaeda leader. CBS News correspondent Wyatt Andrews is in London this morning with the latest on this. Wyatt, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. This report in this morning's New York Times says the phone numbers called by bin Laden's courier prove he was in frequent cell phone contact with a well-known Pakistan al-Qaeda front group called Harakat ul Mujahideen. That's important because for 20 years Harakat was closely aligned with Pakistani intelligence. Now the question becomes, were bin Laden's phone calls to the Harakat group also his link to Pakistani intelligence? And do they explain how bin Laden operated for so many years, perhaps under protection, in the military city of Abbottabad? The report has not been independently confirmed, but a Pakistani official tells CBS News there is no link between Harakat and Pakistan's intelligence anymore. The Harakat group, composed of Islamic militants, has had a long alliance with the Pakistani government. It was formed in the 1980s as one of the Mujahideen groups fighting the Russians in Afghanistan. In the current war on terror, the Pakistani official tells CBS News, Harakat militants had turned on Pakistan and was seen as an enemy. Still, the study of the courier's cell phone, which was captured in the raid that killed bin Laden, is now central to the key point of tension between Pakistan and the United States. How did bin Laden hide in plain sight without the protection of someone in government? Jeff? Good questions that still haven't been answered. All right, White Andrews uh, from London this morning. Wyatt, thank you very much. And